Hi YouTube, welcome to another video. My name is Bushido Moro and today I'm going to give you five different tips what you can do and where you should focus your attention after unlocking hard mode. A lot of people have been wondering, all right, I've unlocked hard mode, I've unlocked end game, what now? Well, stay to the end of the video because I'll actually give you one extra tip and I'll show you what you can do. All right. And with that being said, let's talk to about the first point, what you need to focus on after you complete uh, and unlock the hard mode. And the very first thing is obviously unlock more descenders. Even if you stick to one that you think, oh my God, I'm in love with Bunny uh, or oh my God, I don't want to switch out um, Ajax, for example. Doesn't matter. Just try to get as many as possible descenders. Believe me, it will take you a little bit of time to unlock more and more and more and more. For example, Freyna. I mean, I was a little bit luckier with my grind, but Freyna, I unlocked. It took me one day to unlock Freyna. Uh, Blair took me two or three days to unlock him because I was redoing one of the missions and I couldn't get the last part for, I don't know, like 20 missions in a row. Um, Enzo took me five days to unlock Enzo. So you know, just by doing game content that you've unlocked in hard mode, by the way, most of the things that you will get regarding the descenders will be normal missions from normal mode, not from hard mode. Uh, but keep that in mind that it, it is time consuming. And my advice here is try to aim for one descendant at a time, right? You want to unlock Enzo, go for him, focus on the different parts, grind the different, you know, missions and stuff that you need for unlocking this guy and move on down the road to the next one. This is how I prioritize my development in the game by just simply focusing on one descender or weapon at a time and I'm unlocking those and moving down the road. The second thing that I highly suggest you focus on is unlocking more weapons as, as soon as possible. Yesterday, I just unlocked the final masterpiece. This was a weapon that also took me maybe a week. I wasn't very harshly focused on grinding the final masterpiece, but I just unlocked it yesterday. And now a new page in my book is has turned and I will be leveling up this weapon. I'll test it around. I will try different mods, I will have like a new weapon to play around. And I highly, highly recommend you guys just go for the next and next and next weapon, right? First tip was focus on a descendant the same way focus also on a weapon that you would be unlocking as soon as you, you know, can, right? Because this is a time efficient grind, it will take you a little bit of time to get the necessary pieces to craft the blueprints and stuff like that. This will be all necessary also for the next tip that I'm going to give you, and that is your mastery rank and one level particularly, and that is mastery rank 15. Why I'm telling you this? Because some of the weapons will be locked for you to research before that. You won't be able to research and unlock certain weapons um and particularly ultimate we weapons we're talking about you won't be able to research those and unlock those um if you don't have level 15 mastery and the quickest way to unlock your mastery and to get it higher and higher obviously is by having more descendants and also leveling more your uh, weapon proficiencies uh, yeah and this is how you get most of the experience i got to level 16 since the game launched, I haven't been really trying to get higher mastery rank. I was just playing the game and trying out the new descenders that I'm unlocking and new weapons. And I have been slowly leveling up the proficiencies to level 40. And this got me here, right? So I don't know. You cannot see this right now, but I have the proficiencies unlocked, so obviously, for the weapons that I have been using all the time. They're already level 40 uh, for a long time. But I, for example, just unlocked uh, the final masterpiece and I will be re rolling the stats. I, I will try different mods and stuff. But the proficiency is still level one. I haven't played this weapon, so I will get this to, to 40. This will contribute to my mastery experience and in, 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 uh, moving on. Now, as you can see, the higher you go, you will unlock more weapon module capacity slots plus slots in your inventory. So there's only benefits. I want to share with you the freshly created uh, Discord channel uh, of mine, Bushido Maru's Dojo. And, and in this channel, we will be focusing, I will be focusing with sharing with you 
all my knowledge and everything related to the first ascendant i've made dedicated channels for the latest news patch notes and etc you will also see you know uh, links to my latest guides and videos plus i plan on sharing all my grinding test results in a specific channel over here and i would love to have you in this channel in this discord to help me out with contributions I'll be gathering different amount of data and uh, grind spot tests from different people and I'm happy to pull your tests in my future videos. So if you would like to join a small, freshly created new channel Discord, here is the link that you can follow and you will join this channel and I'll see you there. All right, and the next thing that I can highly recommend you do is try to find yourself, uh, try, try to find a couple of spots for yourself where you will feel comfortable uh, in grinding hyper flash gold in general, right? There are several spots, there are several different methods. Um, there is a few, for example, in serial um, uh, land, a, a certain a couple of spots. For example, the Kuiper mine is a very good spot uh, for grinding Kuiper plus gold. Uh, there's also another spot over here. This is also, for example, um, a very good spot, you know, where you could grind, um, again, Kuiper and Gold. Uh, there are so many different spots that you can, you know, um, just select a, a couple that you really like and just stick to occasionally grinding a little bit of Kuiper because Kuiper is going to empty your wallet, I mean, your Ky Kuiper wallet pretty quickly right i'm very i'm down to 14k again yesterday i had 300k and i spent it for again leveling up new modules that i have for new builds and stuff like this so you know my suggestion is just try uh to find a couple of spots that you really like uh that you really enjoy you know doing your rotation there and grind for kuiper as much as possible because you really need a lot of it and when i say a lot like maxing out one just one module can cost you up to 200k hyper 200k for one modules well you will have a lot of these and a lot of different ones and sometimes you will even want to level up the same module once you level it up to max amount and then a second time you'll probably get it only to level seven and then a third time just a little bit less so that you can play around with your build um and in general you will need a lot of kuiper in my discord channel in my in my videos i will be sharing useful tips and tricks and places and spots where i i will go and grind and test how much kuiper you can grind per hour with certain builds but just feel free to explore and look for your best rotation best spot for yourself that you enjoy doing um, and go there and occasionally grind kuiper or gold uh, because gold is also one of the currencies that in the more late game will start to disappear so my suggestion is get the the, the kuiper grind going as soon as possible uh, after you unlock hard mode um, because it's really important all right the next tip that i can give you is try to actually play around with optimizing your build right whether it is going to be your weapons playing around with different setups for you know i want to test out more fire critical hit rate or fire critical hit damage or fire rate or just in general just firearm attack um and and stats like this my suggestion is just try around and go to the shooting range and just try around different modules this is a good way for you to learn the game and learn how um you know certain mods affect your damage in certain scenarios but however if you don't have the time and if you're not like a big fan of uh, theory crafting and a lot of testing and stuff like that that's why we youtube creators are here for you to share our guides and our knowledge with you so yeah you can check uh, videos that i will be uploading for certain weapons or descenders in the future there's also tons of other youtube creators that share uh, awesome guides online you can save yourself some time and copy pasta some of the you know recommendations online but my suggestion is try to optimize your gear yourself you might get a, a few couple of tips and tricks from some from other people uh, but try to play around yourself this is going to give you a good feel you know about the game about how certain modules work 
um, is this a good one? Is it not so good? Maybe, you know, the 2012 capacity is a little bit too much. I would rather put something over here because I have an extra slot. This is going to cut the cost in twice. And maybe for this amount, I will be able to actually use two different modules, which is going to bump up my survivability slash DPS. Just play around. All right. Tip, tip number six is craft materials all the time. Meaning, the moment you have something available for you to craft, you have the materials, just craft it. Don't waste time, because everything is time-related. Um, I spent all my materials by revamping, readjusting weapons, you know, rolling for the perfect weapon and stuff like that. And every time I have available materials, I just put and throw in materials in there to be crafted blueprints materials for weapons doesn't matter anything you have available just throw it in there to to craft obviously prioritize uh the adjustment axes uh prioritize everything that is related for you that comes for you know readjusting your weapons because you will be having a lot of readjustments to do to optimize your build you watched my entire video i really appreciate your time and i would also really appreciate if you subscribe for more because I will be uploading almost daily. I'll see you in the next video.